Welcome to the show, everybody. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, and I'm your host, Carla. Yes, we made it through another week with this sickening disease that's going on. Um, I hope you guys are well. I hope you're taking care of yourselves, and um, more than anything, I hope you're keeping your eyes at home. Yes, at home, just stay home. Like if you don't have to. Now that's easy for somebody like me to say because I don't, I don't mind being at home. I, you know, I enjoy it. <sighs> but I tell you what, it's great to be here tonight with you, cooking live, sharing another great recipe. I am so glad. Hey, Coco. Oh my gosh, welcome everybody. That's right, it's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. And of course, YouTube, you need to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Simply go to my site at YouTube, which is Sugar Pearls. That's S U G A R P E A R L apostrophe S. And Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online okay and i'll be posting these videos later but if you need to get caught up on my shows then by all means go to instagram go to youtube and subscribe and uh there you can catch up on all the videos i've been doing lately i think this is number 30 or 31. yes yes i know <laughs> oh boy so much okay so I've got a couple of things going here all right I'm gonna tell you what we're doing tonight tonight we're gonna app it up all right like like your appetizer and tonight we're doing shrimp now um we're doing a spicy shrimp appetizer uh, kind of like a bang bang shrimp only I call it fireball shrimp okay so this is sugar pearls fireball shrimp We've got some, and I need to get these in the oven right now, some garlic, butter, green beans. I already uh, boiled and blanched them, you know, put them in the cold water, seasoned it up with, you know, all sorts of goodies, a little paprika, some butter. It's a lot of butter. It's a lot of butter. Yes, but they're garlic butter green beans so they must have a lot of butter and of course there's a lot of garlic in here so i'm gonna put this in the oven right now at right now my oven is 350. i'm gonna do that for about five minutes and then after about five seven minutes i'm gonna put it on 400 then i'm gonna just blast it with heat okay all right garlic butter green beans are in there okay now the fireball shrimp is not gonna take very long as a matter of fact i had to prep it the night before so let me show you what i did uh here we go so this is this is the start for the fireball shrimp uh first i had to um just let it soak in buttermilk overnight so you've got your shrimp i've got some fairly large pieces here of course it's gonna cook down but the shrimp has been soaking in buttermilk overnight I'm gonna drain that off in just a second um but I'm gonna show you what else we got going on here okay green beans fireball shrimp and we are going to do a sauce now it's a it's a Greek sauce it's the um tzatziki sauce so we're going to make a tzatziki sauce for our shrimp. And I know although the fireball shrimp is all is already going to be in a sauce, if you want to have a little something extra just to like dip, then you'll like this. And you can dip your green beans in it too. And the bread. We're going to do some toast points. So um, that's going to be dinner tonight. Yes. Oh. Coronavirus. Honey, no joke. I need for y'all to take care of yourselves out there. Hello, sister. Hello, Aletha. Hi, Barry. Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, guys. 
That's right. Keep your hind parts at home. I've been busy. Now, contrary to what some of you may think, oh, she just she can go on alive and just do this and do that. She must be a bit of an extrovert. Well, sometimes I am. Sometimes I just mask as an extrovert. But really, my mom will tell you, I love being by myself. I do. Yes. When they brought my little sister home from the hospital, I was three years old. I was like, what is this thing? What are you doing? <laughs> like, you killing my flow. Totally. Why they brought that, brought that dad in the house? Anyway. So, I, I like being, you know, by the, hey, John Simber. I even made this necklace. Yes, I'm crafty. I made this necklace for myself. It's an old piece. It was kind of, mm, sorry. <laughs> It was an old metal piece that I had, but it wasn't very fashion forward anymore. So what I did was I got some um, heavy duty epoxy and some jeans that I couldn't fit anymore. And I just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and I made this nice little piece. And then the wire around it is actually hair glue for when I had my uh, faux locks. <laughs> she said, Pat's gonna get you. I don't care, she know I didn't like her. <laughs> I know, but I'm, I'm glad they brought her home after all. I am. Yeah, so, you know, get crafty. Do something with your life. You know, I'm, I'm in here making jewelry, honey. Yes. She done already done had hers. Look at, look at that. That's a cute little piece. So, I got to find, you went to the, very early, very early, go to the store get in get it out the way when not a lot of people are up and out in there get your stuff and get your hand parts back home okay okay that's what i need for y'all to do so i've got my green beans in the oven let me show you what's happening i've got my big wok because i'm going to do my onions i've got some onions that i'm gonna fry and let me show you what i'm gonna do with that so first, I'm just going to get some ooh, ooh, cornstarch. Ooh, I don't, that's gonna drive me crazy. Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna light stuff on the stove. Little cornstarch, kosher salt. Panko breadcrumbs. Don't worry, I got more. I just, I have more in a different container. So that's that, all right? Not a whole lot. We don't want it, um, want too many panko breadcrumbs um, in it. So this is for the onion and it's going to be for the shrimp, okay? All right. Now this is, ooh, that's getting hot. So because the shrimp is not going to take very long at all, I'm going to do that last. All right? I'm going to do that last. I'm going to fry up the onions first. And um, before I dump the onions in there, I'm going to show you how to make the tzatziki sauce. So for the uh, Greek tzatziki sauce, it's like I've got um, the United Nations up in here tonight. Because I've got a fireball shrimp. I, I don't know, I, I kind of took it from the, um, like the Bang Bang Asian shrimp. So I've got a little taste of Asia, I've got a little taste of Greece with my tzatziki sauce, I've got a taste of home with some uh, garlic butter green beans in the oven, which is, honey, we can, we can solve world peace in my kitchen right now. Okay. And all I did was get a couple of cucumbers. I kind of scooped out most of the seeds and then grated it. Hey, Travis, this is my work, sis. Hi, Teresa. Oh, how are you, beautiful? Yeah, so tonight we're doing, um, we're apping it up with a little fireball shrimp that I'm doing. Some green beans, garlic butter green beans are in the oven. We're going to fry up some um, onions and some toast points. Right now, I'm showing you how to make a tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki sauce. 
Okay, so after I grate it up, <laughs> grate up the cucumber, add some water, uh, not water, add some salt to it. After you got it, see, that's what it looks like. After you grate it up your cu cucumber, add a little salt. And what happens is that salt starts to draw all of that water out of the cucumber. So now we're going to drain this liquid off of the cucumber, okay? Hang on. Watch my stove. Make sure nothing burns. Cool. Okay, so now you've got your cucumbers with most of the liquid out. That is what we're going for. Now to this, we are going to add plain yogurt. Just plain old yogurt. Okay. Yes. I'll do a little more. I'm going to do a little more. Yeah. Okay, and some garlic. Now I'm saving my other garlic for my um, firecracker shrimp, so I don't want to use that one. A little garlic in there. And what else am I doing with this? Um, salt, diced cube. Okay, cool. Let's mix this up. I think I got everything in there. What did I do? Oh. Lemon juice. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Honey. This girl done made a tzatziki sauce. All right. Yeah, I got I got too much stuff up here. All right. Get, get a little squeeze of the lemon juice. Ooh. Oh my gosh, yes. I need to make sure it's got enough salt in it. So that's that's your Greek sauce, your Greek yogurt sauce right there. That's it, that is it. Hi, Danny. <laughs> yeah, let me. It tastes so authentic, okay. So I'm going to I'm gonna refrigerate it. That's what I'm gonna do for just a second. And now we're gonna work on these onions. So I sliced up some red onion because y'all know I love onions and garlic and all that stuff. Uh, so I've got a little sweet onion and a little red onion and we're just going to put that in our flour mixture mix it around you've already got your salt in your it's a not flat cornstarch mixture so you've got a lot and what you're going to end up with are these beautiful little rings see like so you can make your own rings all right, and it's not going to be so bready, you know. I like a good onion ring, but I don't like for them to be too bready. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys are checking in, honey. How y'all making it through this virus? The, what, don't watch the news too much because that that can send you into a tailspin. Just, um, shoot, I lost that one. Seeing... Um, I watch for a little while during the day and then I turn it off when the president comes on, I turn it off, um, because I think that stresses me out. Um, I, I would rather hear facts about what is happening. And although I don't li live in New York, I, um, I, I take great comfort in listening to, uh, Governor President Cuomo's, um, yes, I said Governor President Cuomo's updates on the virus, because he, he keeps me calm. He know what to say to me, and he inspires me. Okay, so that goes in there. Oh. Yes. Yes. Woo. Oh, ho, 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 we've got, we got onion rings.
things, boo. Okay, get that nice and hot. Okay, we're going to pull that out in just a little bit. But, um, yeah, so a couple of things happened this week. Um, Mr. Ellis Marsalis passed away yesterday at 85. That's Wynton Marsalis' dad. He's like the daddy of New Orleans jazz. And um, he passed away on yesterday. Bill Withers passed away at 81 on today. Just, child, when I tell you folks are leaving here, and as I, I think yesterday when I saw the news, Mr. Marcellus passed away from complications with um, the COVID-19 virus. So, just, you can take care of each other by taking care of yourself. That is my advice. I've been fussing at my dad. Yes, daddy, I'm calling you out. I am. I'm gonna do it. Um, because he, he's somebody that can't stay, stay, like he has to work. He has to do something. So daddy has been, um, this is my French bag. Oh, we're going to, look at, we in France now, honey. We got Greek yogurt. Uh, tzatziki sauce. We got Asian fireball shrimp, and we got a French baguette. <laughs> I'm telling you, you just call me Madam Secretary. I'm not gonna eat all this bread. But as I was saying, so uh, my father, um, it's it's hard for him to sit still. That gout got him tonight, so he can't go nowhere. Um, so he's been up and about, you know, trying to work on a lawnmower and keep the yard clean. And I understand that. And, and, and for all of you folks out there that just got to be doing stuff, I understand this is difficult for you. This is, this is a new normal. So it's very hard for you to just be still but what you don't want to happen is is you uh put an undue strain on the healthcare system because honey we don't know <laughs> yes that's looking good we don't know you mess around get sick hurt yourself uh if you won't even have a hospital bed or if if an ambulance is going to be freed up to come and get you we don't know so you got to use wisdom You've got to use wisdom. Call each other on the phone and, and check on each other. Sending out a SOS or a smoke signal or something. But what you don't need to be doing is up around here in these streets. This is my garlic butter that I made. It's got garlic, butter, paprika, salt, pepper, all kinds of goodies. And this is going on my bread. You see? That's all I'm going to say about that. Daddy, you good. You're in the clear now. I'm going I'm to stop talking about you. Okay. <laughs> yes. We love our, our people. We love our family. But I need for y'all to take care of yourselves and each other. You know, Mother and I were talking. And... It seems that this virus, honey, I'm taking my onions out because I think that this is about as brown as they're going to get. It's cornstarch. It's not self-rising flour. So you ain't going to get brown, brown, but they done. Okay. I'm going to turn that back up to get ready for the uh, fireball shrimp. My toast points on. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> hi, Corey, <laughs> yeah, he, he know I fuss, that's just what I do, I wouldn't be a good daughter if I didn't, 
Yeah, but y'all make sure your parents, you know, and mine used to be on the go, honey. NAACP meeting, church meeting, this meeting, class meeting. They want to, you know, so they used to doing stuff. And right now this is, this eating them up. Eating them up. Um, but this virus, I will say, and I, I said this during the team meeting, I think what is hopefully going to teach us is um how to get back to some basic rules of life things like sitting at home playing a card game together you know talking to the people you live with <laughs> go figure you know we've gotten away from a lot of that so I don't know. I, I think that um, this will certainly bring out some good things. Unfortunately, it's brought out some bad things as well. You got folks out here price gouging and just doing the most. Like, why would you, why would you do that at a time like this when we need each other as humans the most? Why would you do that? You know, these, these might be your last days. And you out here trying to take folks for a ride. Mm. I don't want to have answers for that. So, it's weird. Yes, I'm, I'm slathering a lot of butter, I know. I want these toast points buttery and crispy, delicious, delicious. Okay, one more. Just the baking one right here. Yes. Awesome sauce. Yes. Garlic butter green beans come through, come through. Honey, they're gorgeous. Okay. So before I drop the, uh, make the firecracker shrimp, I'm going to drain the, this is the buttermilk. On, and all it is, it's just buttermilk. I didn't put no salt or anything. Just buttermilk in the shrimp. Okay, I'm going to drain that buttermilk off. Yes. Okay, now I've got a little more. Let me look at this. Ooh. Those are pretty. I'm going to show you in a little bit. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, I'm not hiding too much from you. Honest. Uh, flip. Ooh, no, that's not ready. Flip that. I can flip that. I'm gonna flip that. Okay, so what I'm doing now is, yeah, these are my toast points with the garlic butter that I made. So garlicky, so buttery, so delicious. Yes. You are going to love this, okay? So that's that. All right, so now, come on now. My walk is, um, it's not a very good walk. I, I like it for the size and the depth. But it's kind of thin. It's not an authentic wok. I need to go to the Asian food store and buy me one. I saw a really nice one. So I'm going to invest in that. Um, yeah, I gotta, gotta get a good wok. But before we um, do the shrimp, it's still over there in the sink draining. Before we do that, we are going to make our firecracker sauce. Fireball sauce, sorry. I got to remember to, um, if I, if I make a name or something, then I got to be able to remember the name of it, right? Yes, of course I do. Hang on. Great job, girl. I'm just 
is doing a lot of things. Okay, so we're going to make our fire ball sauce. Okay, and the way we're going to do that, I'm going to use this same spoon here that I had that garlic butter in. And all I'm adding now is a little chili garlic sauce. You can get that just about anywhere now. I don't know how much it was. Sorry, I had to make sure the toast points are off and the green beans are off. We're going to do about a teaspoon of rice vinegar. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a couple of, that was about a tablespoon and a half of shiraza, shiracha, sriracha. You get, you get my drift. Okay. Um, ketchup. Two tablespoons of that. Write this stuff down now. Because I'm not. And Texas Pete. Yes, that's why I call it Fireball, honey. I, it's it's going to be fire. Fire. Like fire shut up in my bones. Now, mayo. Any kind of mayo you want. I should have had like a Dukes or Hellman's or something. But all I got is this one, so this is the one I'm going to use, all right? So, that was two heaping tablespoons of mayo. Got it? Okay. Good. I'm trusting y'all now. Put the rest of that lemon juice in there. Uh, garlic, yes. Because I just love it. It has to go in there. And mix, mix, mix. Ooh. This is what's happening. Yeah, it's a thing. It is a thing, but it's not done. It is not done, boo boo. See that? That is almost fireball sauce. Now, your little honey, honey bear, get your little honey bear together. Two tablespoons of honey, okay? Just to sweeten it up. You get the sweet, you get the hot, you got the tart. <laughs> These measurements are suspect. <laughs> You can go as little or as much as you want with these. These are not precise measurements. They are to taste, okay? I'm doing it the way I want to taste it. Oh, my God. I wish, I wish, I wish you could taste it through the, the TV, the, the phone. Y'all. Firecracker sauce. Sugar pearls. I, I said firecracker. It's not firecracker. It's fireball. Let me, let me get my name right now. Sugar pearls. Fireball shrimp. That's what this is. Okay? I hope you remember what I put in it. Because I don't. All right. Now. <laughs> I'm going to get my oil back on the heat. Uh, leave, uh, the green beans are fine. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. I'm gonna put a little more. Now these are the. This is the same cornstarch mixture that I used for um for the onion strings. Okay. I'm gonna just add just a little bit more because I got quite a few little shrimp. Okay. So just put that on in there. These were my onion strings, my red onion strings, see? Don't worry, I'm going to plate it and it's going to be pretty and you're going to hate that you ever doubted me. Okay? All right. Now, 
We're going to stick that on in there. Okay. So now the shrimp is in the cornstarch mixture. Now in the cornstarch mixture, say that five times fast, <laughs> you've got um, salt, of course, cornstarch, and a little bit of um, panko breadcrumbs. Okay, this is what makes my um, fireball shrimp a little bit different. Some people don't do the panko breadcrumbs with theirs, but I do. So, we're going to do that. We've got our sauce ready. we got our, our Greek tzatziki. 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 Our Greek tzatziki sauce is in the fridge that we made. Homemade, authentic tzatziki sauce. We got... Asia, Italy, France, Greece, all up in my kitchen. Okay, so I'm going to start placing the shrimp in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yay, yay. There we go. more shrimp than I thought. This is all right. That's it. That's it. That's all. Okay. Alright. I'm going to wash my hands off. Okay, and let that go. All we need to cook for about four, five minutes in that hot grease it's no chance going to try this one. It's so good. Honey, let me say, seafood has been on sale lately. So if you can get this and try this recipe, do it. And make my fireball sauce too. You got to have that. I'm going to turn that heat up. Now I want it to fry kind of crispy now. So all the way up on, on the shrimp. Whew. It's been real today. Oh. And I have the air on. It's just one of them things. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, good. So I told y'all what I was doing while we were we're all holed up in the house. For those of us that that are non-essential employees in places, um, making jewelry. Yes, I did this. This is my own original piece. Um, crossword puzzles, Rubik's cubes. Yeah, just. I hope you guys. Um, have someone or something that you can connect to. A lot of us are doing church online, so we're doing those Wednesday night Bible studies. We're also doing Sunday morning service online, which is great. But I was sharing with my, my big sister, Cheryl, the best thing for me about being booed up with me is that I like me yes lady I, I actually enjoy being with myself I have those days where I'm just like oh gosh I'm about to go a little stir crazy in here but for the most part I like me so I enjoy being in my space and I can cook so yes I ain't, I ain't got to worry about ordering out and all this stuff honey I am I am my best boo. I just am. And I ain't saying that to brag on myself. I'm bragging on God. <laughs> he did that. He did it. Oh, these onions though. Mmm. It's so light and crispy. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. So now I'm frying the oh, let me show you. Make some more jewelry and sell it out. <laughs> I don't I thought about it, but I'm not a jewelry maker. I just did this out of sheer boredom. Sheer boredom. But I like it though, chad. Okay, taking the shrimp up one more time. All right, all right. Now, when the shrimp is done, which is going to be in about another minute and a half or two, um, I'm going to take all this oil, pour the oil out, and then I'm going to put the shrimp back inside. Then we're going to toss it with a little bit of that fireball sauce. And you're going to see how all of this comes together. Okay? Yes. Okay? So I got all my skimp. Thank you, wifey. <laughs> That's my own, my baby brother, Colin, from Ellenbrook. My wife said your eyebrows are on point. Let me tell you. Because I have to work from home, and people are like, oh, you, you just do that for the show. No, I do this every day. Especially since we are, um, just add a couple of dollars for this. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Especially since we've been locked up, honey. Because... I have to get up in the morning and, ooh, ooh, one more, and get showered, get dressed, put on eyebrows and lashes, because that makes me feel good. It does. And it makes me feel like I'm, I'm keeping with a routine. So I have to do that um, every day. Alright, y'all ready to plate so we can eat dinner? Yeah. Alright, let me sh let me show you. So I want to get my green beans out. Ooh, wee! Sealy. Honey. Alright. Come on with me. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Can you see now? Can you see? There you go. All right. I know. Don't, don't judge me. I'm, I'm going to have my wine in the background. Okay, we're going to put the rest of our fireball sauce in there. We're going to put our, this was the Greek sauce that we made, the tzatziki sauce. We're going to put some of that. And I got it chunky too, honey. Chunky. Put that in there. And I'm going to do some. I'm going to do the, the toast points. On this platter, this will just be a little bread platter. And the other, uh, the hard plate I'll do for the, um, ooh, ooh, honey, honey, don't you love me? Look, yes, I ain't done yet then. Okay, we've got our crispy fried onions there we've got our firecracker shrimp fireball shrimp girl get it right get it right get it tight mm, 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 mm. lot of mercy and 
we'll do some green beans just like that just like that now I know you look at this and you go oh my god all that food she cooking like she gonna have some people over there yes me myself and I I told you I tr <laughs> honey I when I cook for myself I do it the same way I would cook for y'all for my customers because presentation, honey, oh. mm. is so important. <sighs> honey, let me tell you. Thank you, Auntie Karen. I'm so excited to try this with you. Now, and people are like, did, did you make this recipe before? No, but I rehearsed it in my mind several times so and now I have a new menu creation so when I get my restaurant up and going y'all can have this okay let's do the uh, fireball shrimp I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of tzatziki sauce tzatziki 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 you get it mmm mmm Mm. Mm. The, the creaminess of that yogurt sauce with the chunks of cucumber and garlic. Oh my gosh, it is perfection. Yeah, I'm going to give it to myself. God did it. Mmm. That firecracker, fireball, fireball, fireball shrimp. Sugar pearls, fireball shrimp. Okay, boom. It's perfect. Spicy. It's still crunchy. And that sauce. I'm gonna dip Mmm. Oh my. These green beans, honey, this a whole snack. My God. The, the green beans were fresh. I just snapped the ends off, steamed them for about eight minutes, took them out, Put some sea salt on them, then douse them in ice cold water. Then put them back in the oven with the butter and the garlic and um. Mm. Boo. I'm gonna eat one more of these fireball shrimp and some onion. I got it now. I got it. That's why daddy wanted me to come home. Uh-huh. My dad been dying for me to come home in this coronavirus. You want me to cook. Well, you can't have this no way because you got the gout. Now, Teresa want me to try some of the green beans and the tzatziki sauce. You said tzatziki sauce? Yes. It's good. Mm-hmm. So nice. I'm going to do it twice. <laughs> what? Mm. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't like shrimp, poor sap, you can dice up some chicken thighs. And you can do the chicken thighs with the fireball sauce that I taught you how to make. Yes. Hmm. I'm gonna let you look at it one more time. Hmm. It is a 
as good as it looks. Yes, it is. Toast points. Fireball sauce. Greek sauce. Everything homemade. I don't like buying sauces. I like to make my own. Um, because I can, I can add that little extra oomph that you can't get out of a jar. So I always, oh, Teresa, yes. Did she say almost make me want to go get ingredients? <laughs> I caught you almost. Mm-hmm. Honey. Oh, don't worry. When I get the restaurant, I'll make this for you. Mmm. French baguette, homemade garlic butter, fireball shrimp, garlic butter green beans, and crispy fried onions. Everything homemade. Fireball shrimp um, sauce. I'm going to have to go back and look at the video for that, honey, because I'm definitely saving this video for after COVID. <laughs> I know. Um, hang on, let me get one more bite, and then I I need to I need to do some special shout outs. Mmm. Mmm. And when you soak that shrimp in that buttermilk, oh gosh, it just it's so tender and succulent. And I didn't season the shrimp. The flour, the uh, cornstarch was seasoned, but I didn't season the shrimp. Mm -mm. Because you got your fire fireball sauce on it, you didn't need nothing else. Anything else, any more salt would have been too much. Okay. Even when we eating good in the hood, I be trying to keep y'all somewhat healthy. Okay, I know. Oh my goodness! I just hate you can't be here with me eating it. But oh well. I hope you booed up with somebody that can cook. Somebody that don't mind having a little bit of fun, cutting up. Because, honey, um, we, we may be in this for the long haul, it looks like. I think so. Um, and I want to give a special shout out. Um, my cousin Tori, LaTori Parent. My little cousin Letitia Isaac. They are nurses deep in it. I know I just texted Letitia a few days ago and she's actually like and it's bad when you when you're nursing patients through this and you lose a patient because mm. you want to save them all you want to save everybody and it's unfortunate that my cousin Letitia had to go online and buy personal protective equipment what is this 1920 what are we doing a nurse working in this mess had to buy her own protective gear. 
which is absolutely ridiculous. And and we got folks out here fighting over toilet tissue? Really? We got to do better. We've got to. And this is a test. Who are you going to be in this moment? Remember I said, good times build confidence, but hard times, hard times build character. So who are we going to be in this moment? You're going to price gouge your friends and family members and neighbors who need the stuff that you got? Who, who are we? So um, this is a time really, I think, um, to really reflect and just be thankful and still. We don't have to, you don't have to go nowhere to appreciate the beauty around you, the beauty of life. We got to do better. And this has really taught me just to think a little differently about the little things. The little things. The phone calls from my sisters and my girlfriends. Um, this video with you. You don't have to do it. But you know what, um, even in the midst of all of this, you're still taking the time out to join me, to watch me make one hell of a mess in my kitchen, but have fun doing it. So I can't thank you enough, um, but what I will say, um, this disease looks like it's it's starting to touch people you know now. Yes. Now it's starting to hit close to home. So hopefully that will make you think twice about some of your anxiety. Oh, you mad because you can't get your nails done? You mad because you can't get your hair done? You better calm down and sit down somewhere. Cause somebody ain't gonna be doing that no more. Sad truth, y'all. A sad truth. People are dying and their loved ones can't even plan a funeral for them. So you need to appreciate what, where you are and whomever you're with. Appreciate that. Love on them right now in a socially distant, responsible way. But most, most importantly, just be kind to yourself. And it's okay to have anxiety about what we're going through right now. It really is, this is new. But um, be kind to yourself. So thank you, healthcare professionals. Um, all of you, those of you that clean up in the hospitals, to the person driving the ambulance, to the person performing the surgeries, all y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you for the amazing job that you're doing. Because I don't know if I could, but I thank God that he's put people in place for such a time as this, it is so needed. All of our um, uh, first responders, 911, police officers, EMT, thank y'all. Thank you. You could be like, you know what? I don't want to put myself in harm's way. I'm going to stay home. But you get up, you suit up. And you go out there and you take care of people that you don't even know. So from my family to you, thank you so very much. To our teachers that are still teaching from their living rooms, from their small offices at home, delivering lessons on Zoom and in Google Classroom, thank you. 
Because you're doing what I would not have the patience for. Let's remember that when we out here fighting over toilet paper and the last case of water. I said it. Take care of each other and take care of you. Stay your ass at home. Okay. It's been a pleasure as always hanging out with y'all, but I got to go. I'm gonna eat some more and then I'm gonna put the rest of it up, but I'll be back here. If the Lord spares my life, I'll be back here with you next Friday for another great recipe. All right, remember, I love you and I hope you love me back. Bye.